winter days at the botanical garden right here. I, uh, I'm just looking for some props for this video actually. And I need to find some sticks, right? Let's see what we can get. So if you guys want me to, uh, I don't know, film around the botanical gardens, maybe in the spring, yeah, just let me know, okay? And I'll do that for you. I found some sticks. Let's go to the lab and show you what we'll do today. Hello again and welcome to the third video of the beginner series in which I teach you how you can do genetic engineering at home in a DUI setting. So in the previous video we've poured agar plates. Now I've got this stored in the fridge, however in order to spread bacteria on them I'm gonna need to warm them up at room temperature. I am gonna need one more thing though, I am gonna need inoculation loops. Now, an alternative would be cheap, plastic, single-use, sterile inoculation loops. These are readily available and you can get them for uh, cheap. However, where's the fun in that? Today I'm gonna teach you how you can make your own. So things you'll need. A pocket knife. A Leatherman multi-tool or needle-nose pliers, a wire cutter, tweezers would help also, a paper clip, the DUI lamp from video one, a lighter, Stainless steel wire. You can get them, them for absolutely dirt cheap at a vaping store. If you don't know what a vaping store is, here is what they sell. So these are, uh, you know, vaping products. Yeah, so I cannot imagine them not uh, being available in any country, the US or EU or whatever. And the last thing you'll need is a stick. Yeah, so let me show you how it's done. Okay, so now we will make first of all the inoculation loop itself, then the handle. So in order to make the inoculation loop, you're gonna need the wire. You can straighten this up. Then you're gonna need some, uh, like a pen or cylindrical object. And just bend it on itself like this. Then you must twist it like this. And this will basically create the beginning of your head right now. As you can see right here. Okay, so what you need to do now is get your needle nose pliers in here and start twisting it. I'll show you the final product when it's done. Okay. So this will be the final product. This would be your inoculation loop. I don't know if you can see that, but this is basically calibrated at 10 microliters. So what that means is it will hold 10 microliters of liquid in this circle right here. So you can make your circle as big as you want and you can make your inoculation loop, loop as big as you want. But yeah, so this is the final product right here. Now let's get to the handle. So in order to make the handle, you're gonna need your small pocket knife. 
we're using a Victorinox. Then probably you're gonna need a vacuum cleaner because we're gonna start first of all by removing this bark right here. You know, make it pretty. Just be careful not to uh, to break the wood, right? Just take it easy and do it. Right? So this is the final product right here. Now, what I'll need to do next is basically drill a hole in this. So this will be my paper, paper clip. I'm just gonna bend it this way. Just let me, let me clean this a bit. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is basically take my needle nose pliers and just try to, to flatten this head a bit so that it will act like a like a drill okay you can i can also use a tiny hammer if i need to okay so what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to take my stick and center it i'm gonna start drilling in it so this will take a while and be careful not to break your wood, right? So just start drilling. Do this until you, I don't know, you reach like a length, like two, three centimeters, an inch. Okay, so do this. Now, after you've drilled a hole, let's take it out. You can see the hole right here. It's pretty centered. Really happy with it. Now what you need to do is take your inoculation loop. You can see that it's twisty. Just put it in this center hole right here. And then you can just twist it a bit the other way around. Just get it in there. Good. Okay, so I can fill it. This is not going anywhere unless you want it. So this is a simple inoculation loop. You can see it's pretty springy, so this won't hurt your agar. Now, what I like doing next is basically harden the wood a little bit. So you have your alcohol lamp right here. You can just light it. And uh, I'm not a wood hardening expert. However, what you need to do is uh, basically get this like warmed up so that all the moisture can, uh, can leave the wood. Just don't burn it, right? So I think you'll need patience with it. So this will harden the, the wood handle a bit. Okay, and then you can put a layer of lacquer or whatever on this uh, on this wood right here. All right, so this would be your inoculation loop with uh, with your handle. Of course, you need to sterilize this after um, using it, and I would suggest dipping it into alcohol, and then you know just. At 30 degrees angle, just make sure it's red hot. And then you're gonna touch your agar a bit, just making sure it's cool. Let's see if I can get some liquid with it. Okay, 
basically this would be how you inoculate bacteria. So stay tuned for the next video in uh, which we'll do exactly that and maybe make a very very cheap and inexpensive and easy to do incubator. So have a nice one.